In this video, I'm going to be going over pre-anesthetic preparation. So the first thing I have is my patient's chart, and I have confirmed that it is my patient. Um, we've confirmed his last name, the type of dog that he is. We've confirmed with the owner, the owner's information. She has signed surgical authorization, and so we're all good with that. Um, I have, looking back on his record here, I'm looking for previous lab work. And we do have previous lab work and his blood work looks good for it before his pre-anesthetic, for his pre-anesthetic, for his surgery that we're doing today. We're doing castration. And then um, I'm also checking for a physical exam on here as well, in which I do have, again, confirming his information. And everything is normal. The only thing that we saw was abnormal were um, some brown debris in his ears. Just normal waxy brown debris in his ears. So, um... What I'm going to do now is just kind of go over an anesthetic plan with my doctor. And so what she wants to do for him is do pre-medication of butorphanol, 10 milligrams per milliliter, and then um, induce him with propofol, 10 milligrams per milliliter, and then maintain him with isoflurane. And is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So I've confirmed that with my veterinarian. Um, and so we have confirmed that we are doing a castration on him today. We're going to give him his uh, butorphanol IM 15 to 20 minutes before the procedure, before we induce him with the propofol, and then we'll maintain him on the ISO, and she'll perform the castration, and then we'll recover him, and he'll stay with us for a little while before he ends up going home with the owner. So what I'm going to do now, um, I have my dosages as per doctor. So for butorphanol, we're doing 0.2 milligrams per kilogram, and for um, Propofol, we're doing four milligrams per kilogram for his weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how I calculate the drugs to get his proper um, amounts that we're going to be giving. So for my TORB, I'm going to take his weight in kilograms since uh, he is 29 kilograms. And we're going to multiply that by the dose, so 0.2 makes per kg, 0.9 so that is uh, 5.8 milligrams, and then uh, we're going to divide that by 10 for the 10 milligrams per milliliter, and we end up with 0 0.58 milliliters, and that's for our TORB, right there, and then for my propofol, um, the dose is four milligrams per kilogram. And so we take our uh, 29 kilograms and multiply that by four, and we get 116 milligrams. So then we're gonna divide that by 10, and that gives us 11.6 milliliters. So that'll be his propofol dose right there. That's how I calculated that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, go ahead and get those together, and then we'll be right back to give him his IM injection. So now that um, I've drawn up my drugs and confirmed with the doctor that this is the correct dose, right? It is. And then I'm also going to have you um, just go ahead and double check my doses here as well. It's like time out. 0.2 mix per keg, and it's uh, giving you 0.58 and else. That's right. Okay. And my propofol is also correct. Yes. Uh, let's see, four mgs per kg. Looks like you end up with 11.6 ml. Yes. Okay. So my doctor's confirmed that uh, my dosages are correct. So now uh, I'm going to give uh, my dog his pre-anesthetic, his butorphanol injection. We're going to give it IM, and I'm going to go ahead and do it in his lumbar muscles here. And so I'm just going to feel for his 13th rib and then uh, this iliac crest, and then feel the spinal processes here. I've got my torb, and I'm just going to go two to three centimeters straight down, and pull black back just to make sure I don't aspirate any blood. Give it some massage. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and put him back in his uh, kennel. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to monitor my patient. Um, 
before we end up giving him his uh, his pre before we pre-oxygenate pre-oxygenate him before his castration procedure, and then uh, during this time I'll also record the amount that we actually gave him of Torb on his uh, pre-anesthetic or his anesthetic monitoring form. that I gave it I am and the time that we gave it as well. I will record this on my sheet. And so there's his form, the butorphanol, the dose, the milligrams, uh, the milliliters that we ended up giving, the root, and the time of administration there. And then I won't record my um, propofol on here until after the procedure, after we actually gave him the amount, just so we know uh, the exact amount that we actually gave him. And that's pretty much it. And now I'm just going to um, continue to just monitor my patient in his cage. Okay, so I've been monitoring my patient. Um, I've been recording everything on his anesthetic record as well basically that we gave him the butorphanol, we gave it IM, what time we gave it. I've been monitoring, I've been watching his mentation. Um, I've taken heart rate, got a temperature, um, his respiratory rate, his color is really good. I'm watching his mucous membranes. Um, also watching, um, just seeing again how his mentation is. And um, I've also recorded his ASA class on here as well. And he's a class one, minimal risk just because he's here for a castration. He's a young, healthy dog. And um, so we're gonna get ready and start to pre-oxygenate him and put his IV catheter in and just get ready for induction and get ready for his castration surgery. And that's it.